Okay, welcome back to part two of our little dungeon video game. I've officially named it Dungeon Diver. You'll notice I've added a few things since the last video. Uh, not too much. Uh, we have a title using TT string. That'll be our title. Uh, H key string is uh, hit any key to continue, which we will probably uh, use that a few times, so I thought it was good to store that in a variable. And I wanted to add another variable. We'll do the 25. Um, PR string equals what would you whoops, gotta remember no capitals would you like to do and that will ask what we're going to do. So go north, go south, attack, whatever. Um, I'm going to try not to make this game too complicated because I really don't want to. I want a basic game where you explore and you have to fend off our monsters over here and try to find the exit. So this time our goal is to do the title screen. Um, something else you'll remember or you'll notice is I created a clear screen function. Uh, the reason I did this in between is because I had recorded this video once already, but the audio didn't come out. So I'm re-recording it now. Hopefully it works this time. Uh, but um, also, it's kind of boring, you know, to get some of this stuff, you know, this initialization stuff uh, uh, set up. And um, so I had thought maybe I'd just go over a little bit instead of having to type it out. Anyway... Uh, these two pokes, or poke, you know, poke means poke into memory. Uh, 53280 and 53281 are the background and the um, border around the uh, edge of the uh, screen. And I'm, I'm poking zero into those, and that's uh, zero's the uh, color of uh, black. Uh, poke 646 is the cursor color, and I'm poking one, which would be white in that. So the colors of our game will be one will be white and black will be well zero so it's black and white apparently and then from the last video we remember print characters or character string number 147 or character code 147 and that gives us a clear screen uh, so if we were to go sub or call the subroutine at six uh, 60 10 it would clear the screen set everything black and white and return uh, an overlong explanation for a very simple subroutine. So, let's get this title screen taken care of. Now you'll notice I have 1999 return, uh, which is going to return us back here. Um, but also, when the title screen is over, we want to advance our game state to the next, well, state in the game, which would be go sub 2000. And that will be our character creator. So the first thing I want to do is go to 1995. Whoops, too much. And uh, set S to equal 2. And that way when it returns, we'll go here. We also notice added a go to, uh, which it's temporary. Temp 4. I think it's how you spell it. Oops. A rem helps too. Let's put temp. Um, initial, or eventually, this loop will be based on uh, the exit uh, variable or the game over variable. If game over is uh, 1 or true, or game over is 1 which is true, and then we'll jump to whatever subroutines, or we'll set the game state to go to the uh, win or lose, depending on what the, uh, <laughs> yeah, I know what I'm doing, uh, game or what the exit condition was, one or zero. I hope that makes sense. Anyway, it'll probably change, so don't worry about it now. And if you have any questions, leave a comment. Or whatnot, I'll try to answer it. So let's get let's get cracking here. 
All right, the first thing I want to do, yeah, I'll leave it at 10. Last, I have this auto number thing, and I'm used to, from being in high school and whatever, jumping by five, you know, 95, 2000, 2005, or 2010, et cetera. And this wants to do it in 10 number increments. So I'll just leave it at that. I'm not going to fret too much. So the first thing I want to do is go sub 6010. That's going to clear our screen. After that, I'm going to use a throwaway variable, x, which I have defined over here, and I have it here set to 0, but I'm going to use it in a for next loop, for x equals 0, and we'll use print, and we'll just print blank, uh, blank lines, Oops. and then we'll do a for next x, and then 1030, what I want to do is center, this is the title, Dungeon Diver. Uh, very original, I suppose. Uh, but I want to center it in the screen. So what I'm going to have to do is count, or you, you know, count the number of characters and divide that by two, and then subtract that by the number of, uh, or subtract it from whatever the middle of the screen is, which is 20. Uh, the Commodore 64 has a 40 character wide screen, so 20 is half of that, and I'll subtract whatever half of this is from that 20, so it'll center it. It'll probably make more sense when I uh, implement it, so we'll go ahead and use the second throwaway, throwaway variable, y. So y will equal, and then I'll do int 20, because that's half our screen width, minus len is for length of our tt string, our title, tt titties divided by two. Oops, I did not say titties. Okay, I said it twice. Um, and there we go. That should center. We'll go ahead and uh, print tab y tt string. I know it's, it's, uh, <laughs> every time I say tt, you know it's going to be what I'm going to say, right? Or what I'm, in, I'm implying. <laughs> oh well. Bad, 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 bad joke. Or bad, 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 bad innuendo, I suppose. Enough of that. Go ahead and re return that. And we will also use another for next loop. 4x equals 0 to. Oh, I didn't even do this one right. 0 to. I think it's 6. I'll do this one 0 to. Five, and we'll do the print. And then we'll do next x also. And then we'll do y equals integer twenty minus length of our h key string. Now I probably, whoops, I probably could have put this in a subroutine, but I don't think I'll be using it that much. And we will print. Tab, oops, tab, y, hk, string. Now we need to, since we're going to have a hit any key to continue, we need to account for that. So 1080, I'm actually going to use 1990. A string, another throwaway variable. Um, we'll just do get a string. Uh, if a string equals nothing, then we want to go back to our 1990, kind of a recursive line. So if it gets, it prompts for that. If it gets nothing, then it goes back to uh, 1990. Uh, if we do hit a key, that'll fill up and it'll pop to the next line. And I will set S to 2, our game state, and we'll set A string back to this. So we can use it elsewhere. Not really necessary, but 
it kind of keeps the variables clean. So if we run this, which I haven't ran it yet, we get a syntax error in 1020. So let's take a look what we did in 4x equal 0 to 6 print. Oh, 4 next x. All right. Duh. I don't know where my mind was. It's probably on TT. Now, actually, you record this thing twice, and it gets kind of annoying. So let's go ahead and run it again. There we go. Dungeon Diver. Hit any key to continue. Now, if I was feeling fancy, I could have scrolling colors or whatever across that, but I do not care right now. And then it goes to nothing because it goes to an eternal loop. And to test and make sure that it's doing what it's supposed to be doing, we will come down here and we will let's print character creator. Oops. Jeez. Creator. So this it'll let us know character creator yep then it goes into an infinite loop because I haven't you know it's going down to this return which returns it and it hits you know the state still equals two so it's gonna to go to 2000 you know that's why you see the flashing so anyway we've got the titles or the title screen done uh, next time we'll be using or we'll be doing the character creator, and that'll mean we need to do some random, uh, get a random number uh, subroutine or a function. So until next time, I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.